This is the position they currently have. And the question is, can White go e4 once again? I think again? he has to go e4, because I, I think if he doesn't go e4, he is uh, strategically he is, uh, yeah, yeah. He's in huge trouble. So um, this is the only move to, to make sense of um, his bishop on h3. I mean, that's looking at a, a sort of wall of pawns. And this is the one moment uh, he can he can do it. No, no, g6 has just been played, and it's wide to move now. He's going to play e4. I can't, I can't think what else he can do. No, I agree. We've looked at this earlier, and I still thought yeah, like no, a good I position th after the move knight g4 right. here. Yeah, I think knight g4 is... There's is other really moves no. if you want to go... No, very no, 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 no. You're not a fan. Ooh. Ooh. Some tricks. Not sure if it's good or bad, but it's certainly interesting. Because bishop d4 check is a threat now, so why is not time to go no. fg? If you I, parry I, it, I, I just wouldn't. I wouldn't think of that. But uh, well, maybe I would actually. Yeah. This past a pawn has saved yeah. many a Grunfeld. Yeah, g5 now. Exactly. Now you go here. And you have a simple plan. Retreat. How about queen d2, queen. Two, queen d2, or something? Oh, knight e4 is. Queen. Yeah. Put it on the board, even even just giving up the pawn apparently. And you know, you're here, saying, saying Arthur, Arthur the A pawn gives you gives you fair counterplay. And what I like about this line is that the the pawn on f five is is actually impeding your yeah. your, your counterplay. Or you, you, for white You'd want to play bishop e six check and. Uh, but uh, right now, it just blocks. This position could actually be lost for White. Let's could. say you take here, takes. I don't think you can s deal with this guy no. in long term. No, no. And these, this and three this against one is nice, but they're not going anywhere anytime no. soon. So it's probably bad for White. An interesting idea. I'm not sure that's what Carlson is up to, but no. Bishop B2 no. certainly no. comes into consideration. It's quite a forced line, e, f, queen, a2, and you probably have you to... See, that's actually very interesting. What if I play bishop, uh, sorry, queen, d2... Here, yeah? Now. Can I do that? I have no idea. Uh, mm, no, I have an idea. You cannot. Queen, b3 is terribly strong, and why is not in time once again? Why, why am I? What's the idea? I what do you want to do? I take on take out G six. Oh, you just, it's just you caveman just, style. You animal! Where do you learn to play such primitive chess? It's my source for st such stuff is called Houdini <laughs> three point <laughs> oh or four point oh. I'm not quite sure. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Stockfish, Komodo, and so on and so forth. Yeah. I'm not even sure what engine we are using to be honest. Rook with takes. You. Oh, we got, uh, we got, we got company. Uh, we got company. Which means I will go for coffee and yeah. Levan Aronian and Etienne Bacro will yeah. explain their game. Yeah, which ended... Etienne isn't here yet. Oh, that's okay. okay. Even better. So, um, come and, come and uh, Levan... Put Levan in the middle and yeah. have him explain Knight B8. Yeah. Yeah, I must say, uh, of all the games today, this was not the one we were concentrating sure. <laughs> most on. So, um, let's run. Let's get over to uh, Vichy Anand, Magnus Carlsen. Of course, he played rookie one, which is what strong players do. And we have. I don't know what Did we I have. notice some sadness? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would have I would have seen this, you know. Okay. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> and bishop f1 and bishop c4 is coming, I think, against... Uh, so he played queen f7. He's played queen f7. Bishop f1, knight b5. Yeah, bishop yeah, f1. Yeah, bishop f1 now is... is no, you should put the rook on d6 or e6, yeah, I'm yeah, not bishop sure. Bishop f1 now is uh, not... Which will be in the sole lead after this round. Let's see how arguably... Yeah, no, 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 this is, this is wild. The favourites are doing. Well, I mean, 
let's have a look. After rookie six, <laughs> what did Levon say about moving that knight? That um, no humor would allow uh, a check on, <laughs> check check on, on g6. g6. <laughs> yeah. well, in fairness, he said it about knight d5. Five, yeah, <laughs> yeah. G4, allowing a check, but trying yeah. to get to this point. At, le at least there is more sense with that mm. in a, in a, in a well, she took it. No, he's got rook g6. Oh, he's taken and gone rook g6. Takes, takes, rook g6, king h7, most likely. Not sure yeah. there's a difference. He's gone king h7. Yes, the normal square. You should be a little bit worried about this queen landing uh, here. And hack him up. But it's not going to because he has queen takes f5, right? Yeah. And, black yeah. Time. and he's covering everything and eventually. Wait. Yeah, just winning. So what can white do? Rook takes three five is another move that comes to mind. Yeah. Eating, eating bishop, bishop, bishop this. six. That's the problem. Because, because let's not forget uh, Anton. Yeah. This bishop can remove with tempo. Yeah, and then a two a one equals queen. So and again the the rook. Uh, oh, he's played. We have a move. He went rook d7, is that correct? Wow. That's good. This is wow. what he played. Rook d7. You're joking. That's a rook. My god. What's the point? <coughs> Magnus Carlsen took the rook, not surprisingly. And f6 is the point? What the heck is that? It's a combination f6, but it does not work, ladies and gentlemen. It's losing. And there is more than one winning way for black. The right? cute one is queen. this little move. Giving up a whole queen with this check, but queen takes king g6. It's game over. It's no perpetual, and this pawn will do the job. That looks not very complicated. No, it doesn't. Queen d3 check, king let's H, say, king, king h6, H6. and there's not another check. Well, my next move yeah. is a2. Yeah. What happened to Vichy Anand? He's, <coughs> he's bungled it. That's bizarre. That's, that's what he played, right? We're not having any transmission errors. No. No, he's just gone queen d1. That's it. And he has played queen d1 check. He doesn't look even that... What, what is going on here? Are we mm. missing something? Do we have the right position? We do, right? Let's, <coughs> let's just triple check. Yeah, this, this has been played. Queen d3 check. There's no perpetual anywhere. Also, king takes f6 is just winning. Yeah, well, king f6 is unnatural. Yeah, you're not going to do it, but just to make the point, even if you missed king h6, here the white is also running out of checks eventually. <coughs> Something went wrong, Anna miscalculated. In fairness, in the position That's after... Very weird. Problem is after king h7, if we can trust our computers, there's only one way for white to play, which is very unnatural. The move rook e6 is given by the computers as the only way yeah. to stick around, which is not the first move that comes to mind after you just gave a check from e6 to g6. Yeah. And here after queen f5, now rook d7 check. And you have a perpetual by yet another rook g6. Yeah, well, that's clearly a draw. But could, could he not play some bishop f6 or something after rook e6? He can. But now this idea becomes a lot stronger. Uh huh. This uh, all of a sudden. This Gegenspiel once again. Yeah, that's a big difference. Oh, this is, of course, oh, tricky to find. Yeah. Now you this try it before you go rook d7, right? I mean, he was, it was not that short of time. Exactly. Something went wrong, and Vichy knows it. That's really weird. They have this, they played this line we showed earlier, it was blitzed out, actually. Carlson saw it all, king h6. Arnold tries to move h4 to expose the white king. But it's not going to work. It's this gonna take it multiple on ways just take it. I don't it's know why he's going to try g4, g4, but then rook takes f6, 
queen h3, king g7. Yeah. He's going he's to run out of checks very quickly. Queen e3, let's just show. Yeah, queen e3, a2, check. check, king f8. F7, where king f8 is not even in a check word. No. Game. <clears throat> H4 has been played, now we got Magnus Carlsen calculating everything, but it's there's not much to calculate. You and I would win this game. Uh, we would. We would. Yeah. yeah. Which is not to <laughs> diminish us. <laughs> hey, yeah, there's a, yeah uh, we would. You can't go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> because after H4, he's going to take GH3, no question about it, but A2 also wins. It's not like you can, you can blunder well. too badly. Yeah. He's, okay. He's going to take. Who wouldn't take? Okay. Yeah, he's resigned. And he has resigned. Yeah. Magnus Carlsen does his trick of losing the third round and bouncing back in the fourth round yet again. It's stunning. Which stunning. moves him back up to plus one and back up into the conversation. Yeah. If he was ever yeah. out of it, who wins this tournament? Yeah. And the Stonewall Dutch Norwegian yes, man will yes. be thrilled is what got him this win. Levon did not seem that confused. I'm very thrilled to ask Magnus Carlsen this about this move. Knight takes d7, yep, which yep. I still find very hard to think wrap my head around. Yep, yep. Hmm. Starting from here, it's not an objective black advantage, but it felt like black got to have a bit more fun. He played this move h5, which Yes. was nice. And later on, he had the strategic choices. He went for this... Well, let's... Let's wait for Magnus if he shows up just, with the uh, summary. But very, very nice finish to the game then. And Arnold, rook d7. Must have miscalculated something, or probably he could not see a way how to play. And he decided, let's, let's just try this. I think he... Uh, he somehow, somehow looked resigned, didn't he? Fishy. At this point. He yeah, probably thought this position is lost anyway, so yeah. might as well go yeah. for, for yeah. this rook d7, f6. Yeah. Not a bad day at the office after a very good score against the Dutch earlier. Six and a half, half for Vichy Anand. Today he loses, and he loses to Magnus Carlsen. The man who beat him in two consecutive World Championship matches. <coughs> but especially the dynamic recently, it looked like with White, Vichy was putting pressure on Magnus yeah, and Magnus yeah, was running so. out of openings. Today's opening went well. Well, I don't know whether the opening went well. I think the early middle game went... <laughs> right, <but laughs> that's the early middle right? game went well. It oh, was... Yeah. It, it was a collapse, actually, from Vichy. I think to... 97 was a bizarre choice. I, I really do. And he didn't follow it up in the best way. He still could have done that uh, thing with F3 much earlier. When was this? Uh, no, even with C5. And, uh, against H5. Against H5, he still could have done this. Right. Well, Carson has a choice here to keep the knight, but that's, yeah, that's, that's playing with fire a little that, bit. That is, that is a risky move. Yeah. In such a position. I'd take black, actually. Mm. White should be solid. Yeah, king goes to f2. King goes to f2, and he starts evacuating. Um, no, it should hold for white. Hold. I mean, it's... The, it, but it that's can, what it became yeah, of. It's, well, we'll see. We'll Let's see. A look at the we'll game see. that is still going. Well. Stage. And so maybe, maybe just in bishop b6, b6 try to play on yes. the black squares. And to prove yeah, bishop if the bishop b3. moves, then, then the bishop is, would be nice on the long diagonal. Yes. Where I said the bishop on c1 was in a way developed, but on c3 it's not only developed, but much more active. So here's a move like queen a7. Yeah, you have some compensation. So Rook e2. Now, bishop d4, bishop e5, maybe something like this. Yeah, and this bishop suddenly is a bit 
is not feeling too well. Well, he played after h3, h6, h6 I'm not sure about this. Bishop f4. Very straightforward. straightforward. Threatening this. And important question Queen b7. Well, black might trade b2. Uh, I mean, he's d6 pawn for the b2 pawn. And it's not a bad deal, but it's still, it's still an unpleasant yeah. pawn. Less. Well, there are some technical yeah. problems for white to, to try and convert. So he's a pawn up, but it's there is some activity for, uh, it's for uh, Nakamura. He's down to three minutes. He's had uh, some problems to solve uh, very early on. It seems Carlsen played again a bit so like freestyle opening, uh, but he got he got back on his feet. But uh, it looked incredibly well. Yeah, it looked uh, stranger than it really was. I mean, it, it was strange, it but it was turned out to be <coughs> sound yeah. and serious. And this is the thing. Yeah. I remember when I played him in Beale 2011, he played something very weird against my Rubinstein French, which was objectively not very good, but suddenly, you know, he needed time to calculate because it was pretty cal complicated. Suddenly, he, he got back on his feet. It looked well, as if his pieces were a bit here, a bit there, not really harmoniously placed. And suddenly, after a few moves, everything was playing again together. And I didn't have a chance to do anything special in between. I had normal position, but nothing special. Was that without the queens on the board at the end? Is an end game? Yes, yes. Complex we end fought. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, in the end, yeah, he he simplified in an ending with I think two bishops against bishop yeah. and knight, but I had some nice places from, and I suddenly collapsed completely. Uh, couldn't think anymore in, in a way. I this remember. is the main problem against him. Yes. You get a normal position, he plays good move, and you you feel like you can't think, and it's very very strange. It was a very strange feeling. Yeah against hardly anybody else, I, yeah, I felt. Ever. So, Bishop C2, very original. He, does he want to keep the d5 pawn? No. So first thing, b2, yes. rook b1. That's going to be a problem. Winning the queen against... Yes, yeah. so queen b2 wouldn't be. Yes. And another nice point, if you take twice on d5, it's mm -hmm. mate yeah, straight well, away. That's, that's Just to mention. Here, yeah. Rook e8 mate. So he's... Keeping his pawn with tactical nuances. Means, yeah, exactly. So rook c8, queen b3. Yeah? Rook c8 is normal, but then there is less pressure here. And queen b3. Well, queen b3 is no, normal. Yes. But here maybe this. Uh, and take this. again. Okay, we can't take yes. on d5 anyway. But takes and rook. Rook b8, but I mean, b8. even bishop c4 is just a pawn up. In case, yeah. In case rook e three doesn't work for for some reason, seems to be all right too. But yeah, it's, it's a small pawn. Too. This is yeah. Bishop b six. He's he gone. Played he's played something else. He's okay, played bishop a five, I think. Yes. This is a bit strange. So it's getting better and better for Magnus. Yeah. yeah. I mean, rook a one is so natural. I don't quite understand this. Yeah, look, a1. Because if you take then on d5 twice, there's queen d3. That's the problem. Oh, you mean like yeah, d5 it looked, now? Yeah, it looked at first mm. sight, it looks like he can take, but now this is just crushing. Yeah, the bishop is hanging and queen h7 is yes. hanging too. Because yeah, that if that he has to retreat the bishop to d8, it was senseless. Uh. You mean to play bishop a5 and after yeah. rook a1? If you need yeah. to go back. Yeah. So. Bad position and two minutes you left on the you clock. What would you want? So maybe we should have a second closer look at Anand with mm, black. Caruana, very quickly, Anand Caruana. Um, well, black is very active. It looked like it was uh, this mighty two wasn't to my liking, and then it, he went back to 
because now G even if he exchanges yeah look at this maneuver this is not yeah good old vision we, we know huh? even if he exchanges all rooks yeah. then black is yeah, that's one rook they've done and if he plays rook a1 even then yes well he can keep rooks maybe but can, yeah. even then he's slightly he's, worse he's, yeah so let's go back to carlson against the kangura so he hasn't played rook a1 he went to d1 and that's where he swaps here on d5 rook c8 and queen b3 and a few moves have been played i think they exchanged queens yeah. and rook, rook b8, b8. Yeah. So, so again, I guess we're gonna have this ending. Yes, with the two. So now now the rook, of course, here is beautiful behind the pass pawn. <coughs> so that's bishop c4. Now, just in case, if yeah. he protects, then knight e4, so protecting yeah. here and knight threatening the come here. Yeah. And some pressure on f2, just as well. Yeah. So, so bishop, uh, bishop c4. Simple is chess going takes. To Let's. But that's the case. So you. Yeah. Of course, he should take, I guess. Well, he bishop also B4, has bishop yeah, b4 and trying to put the bishop here. Yes, but then why consolates with b3 and... And he, he remains with the yes. weakness, so yeah, he swaps, that's... Yeah. Bishop takes d6. Whenever you're defending, whenever you defend an ending... Yeah, you try to reduce the number of pawns. Try of to course. exchange pawns, unless you create yes. big, big weaknesses. So we have bishop b6, obviously enough. And now, yeah, the knight is coming to e4, actually. Oh so if he plays bishop g3, knight e4 is very... Uh, Looks like an equalizer. Equalizing, yeah. yeah so he wants to give up the pawn in straight. I mean, like... King h2. Yeah. But... Yeah, I mean, we take that pawn somehow. Well defended by an Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Bishop e5. So Magnus is not really happy with the position. So he's played bishop e5 actually immediately. And then, then he went king h2. And only one now king h2. Right. Still keeping an edge. But mm -hmm. Somehow this bishop on c4 is uh, in the air. Yeah, and it, I mean, it doesn't really have any target. Yeah. It would be. It's difficult to say where it would be better, maybe on f3, but on f3 it's not too active either. So, so at some point he will have to push the d-pawn. Yeah, but there's 97 in the block. Mm. I think uh, this is holdable. Against the Magnus, you mean? Again, no, no, the position. In general, Not yeah, against but him. But against Magnus, many, many positions are holdable and you and never you hold them. <laughs> <laughs> the only problem. <laughs> That's the only drawback of this Serious theory. Problem. Because if he plays knight d7, let's admit, then, then bishop g3 and bishop b5 can be played. Yes, winning. Or if you play this, yeah, then time. this. Yeah. Ah, he's played a better move than Look knight d7. He's played knight f5, knight f5, bishop here. But now knight e4 is... Ah, knight e4. He's trying to swap out. Yeah, of course. Bishops, yeah. get rid of them. Bishop b8. Oh, there's still a square. Mm -hmm. But well, he might even try to play this, you know. Takes and try to prove something here. Yeah, no, look, look, very strong. Bishop C7. Ah, I'm, I'm oh. winning. I'm winning oh, a piece. Okay. Oh, this is this is computer tricks. Yeah. So okay, I I'll try to define a better move here. Like anyway, this hasn't happened since H5 has been played. Oh, this is this is very bad. Looks, huh? Because uh, b now he's trapped himself. Rook b1, check, bishop d3. Oh, Come on. oh. Yep. there is a small problem here. Uh, it seems he blew it. He's played d6 and not not rook b1. Let's just mention that maybe rook b1 was winning. Maybe rook b1. Well, not really winning, but it's. But uh, or, yeah, this six is very strong too. Rook c5, probably the best defense. Okay. Well, the thing is, h5 looks well, yeah. good. You know, yes. superficially, it looks pretty good. You're taking some space, but you're not even threatening h4, so mm. 
difficult to justify when you can play knight e4 instead. And the pawn was already coming from h6. I mean, he didn't, yeah, have, he didn't have any back problem. Rank problem. Yeah. So trouble again. Well, my guess is he didn't want to defend this position here. He thought, because it, it doesn't look so easy, even if you have tactical tricks. I mean, I'm going to play d7, and I'm going to bring the rook here, and but I'm going to support. Yes, but the point is rook, rook f6 just wins outright the pawn. No, and take no it, it does. Mm. There's, uh -huh, if you look closer, the... look, it ju I just take it. Mm. You would have to play king g4, but it doesn't. doesn't. Yeah, it's not really. Yeah, well, okay, this is a tactical trick, which is yes. not easy to spot, <laughs> even for knight Absolutely. Like a so bishop e2, good solid move, and Nakamura's problem is not only this d pawn but also the clock. Knight e4 is pawn. The so clock is there's there. also rook a1. So actually, Magnus is not forced to move away with this bishop yeah. g3. Well, he does anyway, but he could even leave it and try to yeah. come to the eighth with, uh, yes. with, the, with the rook. So but he's played bishop b8. Which the computer considers to be um, reducing his yeah, advantage. But this, yeah, it's hard to understand why. Yeah. Actually, these are just small nuances. But it's hard to understand but what's he doing. The problem of what is reducing dramatically is Nakamura's clock. Yeah. I mean, the time he has on his clock. Yeah, that I would have liked here h4. And like he go, goes back to h to f6. Yeah. So yeah. bishop f3 looks like yes. a normal move. He's played it. And black is again in big trouble, mm -hmm. I'm afraid. Because there's rook e1 looming. Yeah. King h7 normal yeah. also. Yeah, good move. Pro Prophylaxis. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah. you can't yet take on... Uh, you can't yet move rook e1 yeah. because knight d7. And if this then... Well, of course, he can take here. He could also make a, give a check on c7. So all this doesn't work, of course. King h7. And the two other games yes, are also should, going. Yeah. I mean, Anand is a pawn down, but he... Oh, no, he's not a pawn down, sorry. Yeah, I thought black had a b pawn. Too. I think it's just slightly worse, but nothing special. Yeah, maybe not, nothing special at all, yeah. Yes, and how about... And uh, just to give you... Gelfand? Gelfand... Gelfand is a pawn down, but with the opposite colored bishop. Well, his king is also open, so it's very difficult. Maybe yes. Aronian is better. Yes. Still, let's remain focused on this game, yes. Carlsen Nakamura. <laughs> needs to find that control. was a long touch of the rook, huh? Mm. Well, at least he keeps control on the clock, too. He's 50 minutes, uh, 50, 50 seconds, 40, 40 something seconds. Well, according to what we can see, at least. Seems, uh, rook b5. Ah, he hasn't put the rook on a5. No. I thought he had played. He was it. hanging over. All right, all right. Rook b5. Bishop c6. Well, it's a better position for white. There is this this very no, nasty it's winning. Bomb. No, it's winning. Rook b1 is. Oh, they, they just blitz on. Yeah, but it doesn't make sense to, to look at the computer. Yes, that's true. Unless that's there true. is a big blunder. It I doesn't mean, do justice. Evaluation to is yes. going to, to swing between plus one, yes. around plus one, so it's not. But maybe. King g6. To win, really, he has to put a, a rook on the, the eighth rank, in the background. Yeah, but it's not so easy because rook a6 can be played. Yes. Rook a6 can be played. For instance, after rook b1, rook a6. Hard to tell how he. I mean, if you play bishop b5, okay, but you don't get to the 8th, fine. It still looks dangerous if the bishop comes. For instance, now, just to give you an idea, the computer seems to believe bishop b2 is clearly the best move, but why? Because I mean, why? <laughs> you can't... It's, we don't... Okay, he wants and to he wants to buy rook d6 and wins. That's, that's his idea. It doesn't, yeah. It really wins if you can. Mm. So, yeah, in, in a way, it's... But why b2? Okay, c3, there is rook c5, but it's, it's not easy to spot even for a player like, like Carlsen. And I'm mentioning this because yeah. according to the computer he made a few inaccuracies, yes, but, but this is irrelevant. Doesn't do justice to them. No. no. And it seems Gelfand is, is doing alright against Aronian. He's won back that 
the pawn he was he had he was a pawn down. His king is open anyway, but so what does he play? You see, he's not play. He's played king h1, mysterious move, but it's unpleasant for <laughs> when you're in time trouble. Such you know, a move. It's, huh? it's not a pleasant thing to face because maybe he has seen this rook d6, and then he believes bishop c7. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course he's scared. And, course. and king h1 also psychologically, it's certainly not a move that Nakamura is thinking about. When you have so little time, what you focus on are concrete measures, concrete yeah. moves, or very logical ideas. King h1 is just an empty yes. move, which you have not really, uh, you're not going to see it. h4. No, very logical, I mean, yeah. sometimes you want to play in the knight h5. Mm -hmm. Indeed, get some counterplay. It's, uh, it's, it's better for white, but not very easy to keep control on this yes. position because you have, you have a very nice pawn on d7, but black is solid. He has a, a defensive setup. Plus a few chances against white's king, which is a bit under. So he comes to g1. Maybe he, he wants to go out, improve the, the king's position, become active maybe, like to e3, maybe get, yes. getting to the king's, uh, queen side. It's clever. It's a very clever way to play. Just twenty something seconds. Bishop, Bishop e seven. This with this move we always have to be careful. Yeah. Well I guess he's gonna come with the king. This might king have been must have been the idea. Yeah. If not now, maybe next move. You mean as far as this? Well, actually, yeah, as far as this, I'm mean, <laughs> is maybe to go as far as there. Okay. You never know where okay. what I can. I mean, it's the king in the end game is a, is a, is yes. a piece, yes. and if you don't play with the king, then basically you're not making use of your full yeah. uh, set of pieces. While well, yeah. of course, in the middle game, you remain yeah. in security. Yeah. It's very hard to make progress with the pieces only huh? yeah. without the king. So king f2 or king f1, maybe bishop b5, rook d6. Immediately. Strange decision. Actually, after bishop c5 now, black can sacrifice an exchange and probably make a draw. That's what, yeah. Is it? I believe. Check. Yeah, that's happening. That's happening. That's happening. Ah, but he will be tortured. He will be tortured, but... Yeah, that's going to happen, <laughs> as you can see. He's been tortured for most of the game, yeah. so I think this is less a torture okay. than what he had okay. like 20, 30 moves ago. <laughs> uh, there is a draw. There is a draw okay. in one game. It's Gelfand Aronian. We're not going to, to switch this yeah. game, but it's there understandable. The, the, yeah. the position is equal. Yes. Well, um, actually, for, for Black now, it's very important okay. to reach a setup where he's going to be able to Almost be safe, very solid. Yeah. I think the knight on f4 would, would be a, a nice place. Yes. From f4... Yes, but even I'm here king f5 and it's hard to make progress. Very hard, yeah. And so actually Nakamura is yeah. confident, as you can yeah. see. Yeah. Let, the worst is over. Let's quickly check the mating attack of Mr. Corona. I mean, the mating attack. Lo look at that queen running around. Let's quickly... Yeah, we, we assume this is going yes. to be a draw. So look we at the switch queen. Quickly. Are you How, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this is very bad. Anand is probably Completely going lost. To, to lose this game again. Oy, oy, oy. This is a pity, eh? I mean, equal material, but these pieces, look at the difference. Look, look at this knight, it has been just about on every now square, huh? But even here, you know, instead it's equal material, but these, these two pieces are so strong. And see, pass passivity of the white pieces. Yeah. So black is winning. So let's go back to Carlson Nakamura. Not too much has happened. Yes. And now there are some questions for Nakamura, basically whether he wants to keep the position as it is or try to exchange more pawns with g4, yes. which might not be a too good an idea. No. So I think just keeping he wants he wants him to show what what, yeah. and these what he's got. Here of course, there's some soups that will with the knight on e5, rook on the fifth. You have to go back to g6, king e4, but even then there's no real threat. Mm -hmm. 
so he's, he's, moving, yeah. he's moving towards f4. So king g6. I think he's just fine. You know he's just fine. Huh? There was yeah. only one thing he has to be careful. Let's say king. You mean e4. the pawn endings? Yeah, or he's played. Yes, but I think. Yeah. And now knight, rook Even e2, and after knight f4, maybe the rook here. Uh, is it really? Yeah, that's what we imagine. And this pawn ending, if he can take here, um, should be lost, isn't it? And then f5. Of course, after rook f4, after rook f2, yeah. he's not going to let yes. let him take. Yes. So he waits first. <coughs> rook a2. Yes, but not, not h5 is just. Uh, or knight e6, whatever. Mm -hmm. King e6. Where is the wing maneuver? G4. Now, now the suddenly G4 maybe is really serious. And uh, G4 come up could with be forcing it. Yes. Uh, he played it. He played it. And actually, you can see on the, on the clock, Carlson overtook. Nakamura, because Nakamura has been blitzing his moves since yes. he reached this this setup. It's very, it's quite easy it's to play. It's very well Gasser. played now. I think he's he's winning the two G pawns then. Yeah, and he's swapping the G pawns, and then it's a draw. So the thing is, after pawn takes G four, king king G five, yeah. easiest probably not the only move. And, take and then you take an H three yeah. and liquidate. It's gonna know for a draw soon. It's a draw. While we can believe that. Caruana will emerge yes, as the only, only winner in this round. So king g5, king e7. Carlsen might be checking Aronian's result. He saw that Aronian did not manage to win. That means that the gap will not be smaller. Yeah. It's still going to be a full point behind. Well, King G4 seems nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. Well, is he going to torture him with Rook <laughs> versus B versus Knight? Yeah, but it's not maybe this not, not so much winning. torture. Yeah, not maybe even not winning King the edge point. King takes G4. Yeah, this is a draw. He's going to simply take it. King G3, right? Mm -hmm. mm. I mean, Knight takes G2 is also a draw, maybe. One day. <laughs> Knight takes G2 immediately would be yes. also. Yeah, right. that's what I'm. The yeah, king is very. Out. Yeah, but then you must. Yeah, you must yeah. calculate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is not something you want to do. Yeah, For yeah. us, it's easier, of course. Anand is still fighting, but his position is probably hopeless. Okay, three. Oh my god. I don't think he's gonna play too long. <laughs> Look at Nakamura. <laughs> yeah, well, even Carlson is not very convinced. What are you doing? I mean, he's gonna take the night. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right, so let's. Well deserved draw. Huh? There is still a game going on. Don't miss the action. The end of. Ganzi, in the last game, in a serious party, played Nakamura. Карлсон, но там начал подкручивать с пятого хода и к двадцатому уже стоял безнадежно. Да. Ту, ту партию, которую вспоминаю, где Карлсон белый наиграл, тоже как-то совсем. Итак, поехали. Три минуты на партию, две секунды на ход. Карлсон Смотрим. пока держится в турнире скромно, но Шу -шу. это ясно, что ни о чем не говорит. Еще впереди шесть туров. Как кунь бд два? Вот это да. интересно. А сейчас часто так. Ага. Ну и Е4. И на Е4 есть ход d 5 Тут э, важный момент. Поэтому Магнус воздерживается, а вот здесь уже можно сыграть Е4. Да. Ну что, С5, С5. А6, слона Ш4. Ну, здесь можно слона, в принципе, разменять. Да, Ж5, конь Ш5. Но С5 это стандартный план. Да, взяли, взяли. Вот теперь конь С6, ферзь С7, конь Ш5. Вот какие-то такие игры. Да, конь С6 надо сыграть. И после двух нулей вот уже конь h5 можно э, засылать гонца на f4. И э, идея в том, чтобы разменять одного из белых слонов. Здесь, по-моему, ферзь c7 играют для начала. 
Хотя нет, конь f4 вот сразу он сыграл, но здесь э, теория идет. тоже уже сложит. А, конь на d3 идет, да. да, да, да. Вот Может... Я очень не люблю, когда слон так на r4 как-то. Так, а вот это очередная ловушка сезона. Конь бьет b2, ферзь b3 и без коня, да? Ах. Ладья, ферзь b6, ладья b1, да? Вот, видимо, как-то так должен закончиться. Влекся. Закончится. Влекся. Ну, можно же вернуться и наехать, и на f4. Атакой. Ну, просто я думала, что конь h5 все-таки сделан прежде всего, чтобы... Или, может быть, не чтобы слона на h4 как-то несколько Загрызть, смутить. Да? Ну да, можно. А было. сейчас при приходится воз... куда-то назад. Ну, на кому не был бы собой, если бы не увлекся. Да. Ну, увлекающийся товарищ. Слон е5 снова этот ход. Ну, вот е5. теперь, судя по всему, у белых есть какая-то передышка, есть возможность как-то улучшить свою фигуру. Конь c4 вполне логично. Так, нарочито, нарочито, спокойно играет да. Карслон. Сейчас все фигуры разменялись. Линия D в руках белых. Правда, вторгаться-то некуда. Ну да, сейчас будет как-то а, F3, слон F2, наверное. Слона. Вот как-то меня слон наш 4 несколько почему-то смущает. Может быть, нет. В каком Может смысле? быть. За а мне... Нет, за белых. Мне он почему-то там не нравится. Я как-то его хочу. Вот Е5. Хорошо. Здесь с чего они могут развиться, все-таки слон Е6 как-то поставить. Хотя от Накамура можно и Б5 хоть ожидать. Не сдерживается. Прежде всего. Ну что, а может быть не так-то уж плохо. Черных. Не думаю, что это сыграно с целью взять на 2. Нет, ладит 8 потом. Стар 6 можно пока, да? Нет, С4. И слон идет на b6. Видимо, этим слонам все-таки суждено разменяться. Связочка какая-то. Молодец, Накамора все-таки как-то... Крутится. Крутится, да. Зал, видно, и... можно немного пробежаться по другим партиям. Так, хотя бы ну вот Борис следом. Васильевич Спасский там как раз сидит напротив всей позиции, да, партий, да, и охватывает взором все пять партий одновременно. Так, ну вот мы видим, что... Черных Белковый. лучше, мне кажется. Даже так? Ну, мне как-то больше нравится поле ладья d3, ладья d8. Им легче за линию d бороться. Ну, Я думаю, надо увести ладью с d1. Уступить Просто эту линию. У, да. уйти. Да, И ладья. где играть? А4? Ну, Как-то там 4, да. Вот, вот f1, да, может быть, даже... Не знаю, какая идея у ладья f1. Я бы наездил. Слон e1, и потом что, укрепить или нет? Просто ну, коня конь e4. По идее, коня уходить. надо уводить. Вот на e4 или на f3 это большой вопрос. Это, угу. как говорится... А, конь f3, конь d4. Да, может быть, можно перекрыть вот так всю эту дорогу смерти. Хотя ладья на d3, на самом деле, действительно, ты права, Саша, надо было поставить все-таки. G5, G5. Ну, конечно, конечно. А не уверена, что вовремя. Не знаю. Сложная позиция, на самом деле, очень много планов. Ну, взял, взял. Неужели в 6? Ну, там взял, взял ладей 6 будет какой-то ход. Я вот не уверена, что вскрытие позиции вот именно вот так вот, F5. да, вот ЕФ, оно на пользу, на руку черным. Но так. опять же, очень легко <laughs> говорить, а может быть нет, <laughs> другое дело. Хочется взять на f 6 но, но сдержал этот соблазн. Магнус, но все равно позиция ученых вызывает больше доверия в данной ситуации, потому что все-таки единственная открытая вертикаль в их руках. А на d4, ну что там, словно бы Все-таки скрылась еще, еще линия g. Вот я не уверен, что а черным надо было скрывать эту линию g. А4. Ну вот Магнус пытается для себя тоже вертикали. Сейчас ладья 1, и вот, вот эта вертикаль будет в его распоряжении. Вопрос в том, чья вертикаль важнее. Может быть, b4 сыграть? Обычно вертикаль, которая дальняя от короля, важнее. Дальше да, от короля. Но там взял на b4 ладец 1, там можно пешка c4 не удержать. Вот да, b4, кстати. Начинаются да. серьезные тактические Ой, испытания. Да даже здесь вот все-таки определение рисунка прежде всего. То есть игрокам, они определяют, как именно менять структуру, какую линию занимать. b4, да, хотелось Ну, сейчас возьмет и ладец 1 сыграет. Я, честно говоря, не понимаю пока, что там делать. Ага, вот, вот это хитрость хочет. военная. Теперь на b4 хочет взять ладью. А на слон c5? Слон c5 просто ну, слон, слон, слон b6 можно еще. Просто раз, выменять этого товарища. Да, b4, наверное. А хорошо сыграл на камеру. Ой, какой молодчик все-таки. Сильно играют. Mm -hmm. Ну, ладью на 6 явно несет магнус. Да, красу. сейчас ладья А6 пойдет. С идеей добраться до пешки Е6. Ну, правда, если у белых пойдет пешка Б2, там тоже ученых свой козырь появится. А пешка С, наверное, все-таки будет а. старше. Ну, во всяком случае, Карлсу удалось перехватить инициативу, создать угрозы. Так, конь на А5 стал. И пешку на Е6, кажется, сейчас э, может потерять. На Камуру. Да. Судя по всему, ошибся. Причем, ну, конь b3, как бы пока еще. Хотя конь бьет b3, ладья b3, ладья Конь бьет b5, конь бьет a1, ладья бьет c4, как да, видно. Конь b3, ладья c4, слон c7 висит. Да, тоже, конечно, Что-то не то сделал. Нет. Вот опять как-то, как само собой, что Магнус... да. Ладья 7 что ли, да? Ну, ладья. Ладья b2. 
Да, ладья вторая пошла на, на седьмой ряд. Хотя... Не, на ладья 7, ладья бы 7. А без, без пешки а, пока без черная, пешки, правильно? Да, тогда без пешки. Ну, ладья 7 можно да, съел. Нет, Попробуй. там съел, съел бы 4 все-таки без пешки, совсем без пешки. Нет, да. ну съел ладья c 7 и ушел ладьей, там ладья d 2. Д2. Да, и эти шахи ничего не дадут. Мат угрожаю сам тоже, молодец да, один. Если бы у белых был бы обеспечен король, тогда это было бы опасно. А так похоже на ничью. Угу. Что, что молодец, выкрутился. Но опять, Саш, вопрос такой, куда вот так летели-то соперники? Смотри, еще минуту. Очень целую. быстро. Опять очень же, быстро. пролетаем очень быстро вот эти все моменты. И чувствуется, что они сложные, интересные. Но... Я думаю, что по ходу дела было 15 Хороший ошибок. Вот ой, как. Ой, как хитро, как тонко. Посчитал. Сейчас а -а -а. посмотрим. Что, что посчитал? Что, король h8, что Может, король h8, да, чем мы хуже? Нет, Нет король f8. Ну что, может быть, ладец h6? Да. Ладец h6. Спокойно играет на ничью, на комору. Взял, взял, ладец h6. h5. Ну, пока. h5, там же пешка f4 тоже, видимо, рухнет где-то. <coughs> То есть можно сыграть h5, и на ладья h6 уже ладья b4. А вот это без пешки, да? Хотя на одном фланге, конечно, трудно себе представить, что здесь ученые будут какие-то проблемы реальные. Ну, можно даже так, наверное. Да, почему именно так? Потому что сладью наш 4 выигрывает, ну, невозможно. Нет, ну от шахов же некуда деваться. Я думаю, что позиция ничейная. А снова ладейники у нас какие-то. И снова ладья неудачно расположена у Магнус, так же, как и в партии скрамник. Да. Вроде пешка лишняя, тогда было две. Ну ничего, сейчас король куда-нибудь побежит на d6. Полетят клочки по закоулочкам, да? черным еще надо проявить, продемонстрировать. Да, продемонстрировать. Да, но дело в том, что ладья-то не выходит. Ладья не выходит, я думаю. Совсем не выходит, да? Так вот по линии d. Ну, ладья d4, там, не знаю. По линии d короля решит. Ну, не пускают, что делать. Ладья ж ты надо играть и вырваться вперед. В принципе, белый ничем не рискует, можно похулиганить. Можно, особенно в плице. Надо пытаться ладью, ладья в три куда-нибудь. А его... может ладья А3? Да. И просто Слушай, король Д6. Король Д6, правильно. И король король 6, слишком да. активен. Но он не будет есть пешку F. Мак волнуется, стоит, волнуется. Интересно, за кого? <laughs> так, ну давайте снова на доску. Так, взял на F4 король Д6. Ну, могут быть проблемы у черных. И ладья И7 уже. Ой-ой-ой, какой же Магнус изобретатель? Какой же Магнус изобретатель? Какой же изобретательный. Такие проблемы создают. Казалось бы, вообще уже ничего не было. Ну, может быть, зря он пешку на 6 отдал. Надо было шпиц сыграть. Король было чуть бы полегче. Ай, какой. Все, выиграл, выигрывает просто Карлсон. Ой, Ой. Ферзи Вик будет. Ферзи За, вот, этот, вот этот жест, вот когда ты, игроки... Саша, обратил внимание, как быстро он взял на d6. Даже не, мгновенно Съел увидел, шаг, что шаг, успевает шаг, шаг, провести. Шаг, f1. Так. Король d6. С идеей король d7. Ну, f4, а на король, король e8, d7. А на король e8 что Король d5. Король... Ой, я чуть Ой, не сыграл. Е6 просто бы, король e8 да, было, бы, да. <laughs> было бы несколько... Обидно было бы, да? Да. Так. Да, но на самом деле позиция абсолютно ничейная. Но, не но... вызывает никаких Да, сомнений. еще и пешка аж все. Ничего. Да. Ну, давайте, доиграйте давайте, до голых королей. Ну, молодцы, исполнил свой долг. <laughs> да, ничья. Итак, и смотрим какие-нибудь другие партии, если есть. Ну, вот это наша карма, Саш, у нас с тобой. Да, рок. Как... Нет, но все-таки Каруана обыграл Гельфа. Нет, ну мы же э, А, мы переключились, партии, да. да, то есть конец вот партии. Все наши основные партии заканчиваются ничью. Если есть у нас еще живые партии, смотрим. Ну, а если нет, то... То есть, знаете, если идем... мы выбрали партию, то тут будет ничья, а мы идем к вам. Если нет, то заслуженный перерыв. В воздухе. Да, ну вот если с погодой только повезет, а то последний раз играли, так холодно было 2 сентября. Да, было наслышано. Ну что, Сицилианка. Сицилианка, наконец-то, не Берлин. Наконец Хорошо, отлично. и что? Чер... Ага, ранний Ж6. дракон. Идем в Марце, да? С4, Саша. С4. Думает. Захватывает Конь С3 или С4? С4 или конь С3? Ну, у белых такой широкий выбор. Ну что, надо подумать. Основательно взвесить все за и против. Так, ну что, Саша, кстати, насчет основательно под... Нет, конь, конь c3. 3 Тогда Сам просто дракон, да? Три, да. Конь f6. Дракон с пешечкой на d7. В нем есть своя... Ферзь опять, да. Своя тонкость. То есть черные не хотят идти на дракон дракон. Так. С короткими рокировками. Очень крепко. Никаких контршансов. h3 да. против конь g4. F4. F4. Ну, вот, судя по всему, Саша исполняет то, что заранее изучал, знает. 
Я взял, ну что, Е5, что ли, да? Нет, слово сошествие. Где заканчивается эта тонкая грань знаний и, и начинается <laughs> более такая э, грань умений? Конь d 7 Все фигуры снова меняются. Как же они быстро, быстро делают меняются. неочевидные да, да, да. Совершенно <laughs> Абсолютно. Неочевидные. Столько много. Ну, сейчас было. ладью, видимо, подведет с ферзевого фланга, Саша. Хотя там, знаешь, был взятие на d4 и ферзь c5, а переход в энч, при короле h1 просто можно сыграть пока. Или ладью вот здесь подвести. В принципе, Хорошо, после размена пусть. чернопольных слонов у черных король где-то слаб, поэтому надо играть при ферзях белым. Мне Ой. кажется, установка вообще Карслона, которую он себе дал на этот турнир, то есть играть быстро, легко. Быстро, легко ну, и бестолково, да? Ну, как, как можно меньше сил тратить. Сейчас на... думаю, е5, да, или е6. Ага, е6. Ну вот э, существенна ли слабость пешки на d6? Вот в чем вопрос. Ну, у белых d5, тоже есть слабость d5. на e4, да? d5 все же черные хотят, где-то после ладья d8. Нет, ну здесь сам Бог велел ладья а d1, ладья а e1. Пора ладью подвести, Саша. Центру. Не, нельзя без игры. Медленно, без медленно игры. играют белые. Ну, ну, в... Это можно сказать медленно, а можно подобрать другой эпитет. Вдумчиво. Вдумчиво, да. Ну, просто такой ход, как ладья d1, надо делать в 5 раз быстрее, вот чем он сейчас Да, сделал. есть ходы, которые надо делать быстро. Да. Корякин-крамник. Корякин-крамник, ну, там какой-то какой усушка у труска, насколько да, я вижу. там какой-то как раз начался. Так. Опять Саша думает. После ладья ad8, собственно, что делать? Ну, может быть, ферзя увести из-под удар ферзь e2, скажем, вот так. А на d5, может быть, e5 сыграть? Хотя в любом случае там слон на b3 вообще не удел у белых останется. Не видно перевеса-то? Перевеса не видно. Перевеса не... Ну важно, важно не до веса не получить. Тут ведь... Да, но тут вот важно понять, что белыми тоже иногда следует сыграть Если на сыграть f5, тогда может последовать gf, ef и d5. И e5. Да, вот, вот f5. Так. Вот, так, смотрим реакцию gf и на ef. Е5. Вот я думаю, такая может реакция последовать. Чтобы ну, черный... слона вскрыть. Ну там d5, d5 же следующий ход. Там пешки покатятся у черных. А белые сами конь d5 не смогут пойти? Ну да, там вот после размена что будет? А, так там будет... Ферзь, Значит, э, избрал ферзь. иную стратегию Магнус. Он ферзя поставил на e5 и сказал, что ферзь хороший блокер. Конь h5, если туда. Конь h5, Ладья видимо... f3, что ли? Да. b5. А что, интересно сыграл Магнус. Ой, интересно. Ну, самый, один из самых таких основных продвижений. Легкие Тут фигуры белых, конечно, оставляют желать, желать лучшего, явно неудачно не там, не там. Надо куда-то переползать, а как переползать, непонятно. Ну вот, неудачно, конечно, все развивается пока для Морозевича. Он играет вдвое медленнее и, похоже, в полтора раза хуже. Вот теперь перевес черных как-то выкристаллизовывается. О, вот Если конь Д5 не выигрывает сразу, да? Молодец, так и надо. Когда что-то что не так, ну что? А Это есть какая-то угроза-то? Допустим, сыграл А5. Какая угроза? А, конь бьет f6 и fe. Во, конь бьет f6 и Хотя ферзь бьет f6. Да. И, и там fe пробивается. Это очень красивый ход. Конь h5. Конь вот. h5. Вот. Вот. вот это, да, резонное замечание. Резонно. Но же это все-таки висит. Потому что на ладья f3 уже съедим. Да, d5, и, и не пешка e4 еды. связана. Да, да, да. Да, что-то я ходы за белых не вижу. Может, f6 все-таки. Ладно. F6, король h8. Ну и как-нибудь пытаться, да, ну его с... Конь же 3 конь f1 как-то ферзь А, то есть ферзь. Каче качество отдать, да? Нет, там, конечно, это слишком... Да, слишком ну, удар по воде, похоже, конь d5 получился, да? Ну что ж такое? f6, конь e7 как-нибудь, нет? Ладья e3. А, вот, вот это правильно, кстати. Видишь, теперь ладья на e3 не подвисает, и это дает черную... А вот опять, как что раз опять? то, ну, о чем я опять. говорил. Зато а3, можно а3. перекрутиться. Или c3. На c3, может быть, как-то перекрутиться. На c3, a4, и конь там будет провисать, да? Он должен на этой диагонали оставаться. Уже, правда, себе. можно будет на d5 взять дважды два раза. Вот. Все таки как как-то... А, интересно, ладья f5 не делает. Ну, Саша, да. Ну, это так, это жутко. Ну, не, ладья f5 прекрасный ход. Ферзь бьет b2, я бы ответил на это. Нет, ну, там же f. Да, ладья f5, это же под сколько боев ты подставляешь? Ферзь бьет b2, да. Ну, видишь, какой компьютерный хлад в игре Карлсон. Угрожает, кстати, а4 просто. Ну, конь e7, да, ничего, ну. сейчас надо как-то... И на b5 взял, да? Ну, там на f6, к сожалению, пешка ну, потеряется. Ну, после слона 8 отвел. Слон можно. Слона 8 я бы отошел. А8? Конечно, а что? Слон должен работать, конечно. И конь бьет f6, вообще безнадежно белых позиций, если я... Не, не, не зеваю мат Е5 какой-нибудь там, нет? О, Ферзь Е5. Б2 все-таки. Е5, конь Д5. Да, вот Е5, правильно. Правильно. 
там, правда, ладья теряется. Ферзь же 5. Нет, сначала надо ферзя перевести. Ферзь же 5, и на король же 7 какой-нибудь, тогда уже е А если конь же 8 сейчас? Ну, все, же, все же хорошо не бывает. Ух ты. Ну, ферзь е5, похоже, сдаться. Он бьет е6 где-нибудь. Ну, ферзь е5 это консолидирующий ход. Ну, ферзь е5 и d5 и как-то... Ладья бьет f7. Ладья f7. Конь, конь g6, g6. ферзь d8, ферзь a8. Браво. Конь g3 в конце Браво. варианта. Итак, а. конь g6. Нет, не проходит. Ну, все равно, Саша, ну, это будет ладья... интересно. Ну, ладья красиво, конечно. Браво. Погибает так спи... А, нет, подождите, конь g6 же вилка. Вилка просто. А, ферзь же Все. Выигрывается. Ура. Что, ура? Ферзь f5 есть ход. Подожди. Ферзь h5. Ну, не все сразу. Значит, надо дальше. Ферзь h5, дальше ладья бьет e4. Ну, где-то ладья f8, может быть, в промежутке, да? Да. Ладья e4, нет, ладья e4, ладья бьет f7. Блестяще. Просто что? обыгрываем карту. Ладья e4, карцы. ладья f7. Конь g6 и ферзь d8. Тут что-то есть. Итак, ферзь h5, ладья f8, Чувствую, ладья f8. Чувствую, тут есть что-то. Ладья e4. Нет, и... ферзь h5, может быть, все-таки ладья бьет e4. Но ладья f7, конь g6. Шах. И ферзь бьет d8. Нет, нет, вот ты говоришь ладья e4. Я просто взял на, на h4. Ладья f8. Ладья f8, ладья бьет h4. И конь уйдет оттуда после... Конь бьет g6 угрожает. Ага, прекрасно. Ну что, вечный шаг, О, кажется. и испугался. Испугался, Магнус. А, Я страшно люблю. стало. Вот как мы засушили его. Да, у нас... Ничего сделать не может. Да, ну ничего, к сожалению. Да. Так, 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 покажите носочку. Ай-яй-яй-яй-яй. Да, нервно, нервно. Нервно, нервно, да. Ну, крутит пешку Витя Кучина. Ну, как-нибудь нет, то что-то, конечно. Смотри, за 26 секунд трудно тут что-нибудь понять. Сложно. Ой, сложно, сложно. Нет, ну, придется на ничего соглашаться. Давай, соглашайся. Иначе что Ладья вот, один. Никаких. Знаешь. Взял, взял, ладья бьет f7. И конь g6. И все. И шаг наш 4. Да, Нельзя брать на g6. Ну, между так, прочим, позиция... Две ладьи, ферзь, конь, так. По-прежнему не сахарный белый. Ладья стоит. Ладья f1 угрожает. Ладья f1 и конь g3. Ох, вот это вот он Вот это, учел. Вот это конец. Ферзь h4. Или ферзь a5. Правильно. Нет, Блестяще. конец. Нет, ферзь и конь сейчас будет скрутить. Ай, какой Сергеевич Ах, Александр. Ах, как будет скрутить. Так. Все. Все. Все начинается сначала. Да, партия только продолжается, начинается. Продолжается. Да. Борьба король h8. Ага. Хочется сделать укрепляющий ход. Слон на b3 умер, ферзь но слон на 8 тоже, кстати говоря. Все, так. Карслон проиграет. Он очень нервничает и времени уже меньше. Шаманишь, шаманишь, матушка. Так, а что, ферзя надо держать поближе к вражескому королю, это правильно? Слона надо на c2. Так, ах, не пустили, а? Конь же 5 съел, и пешка пошла, е4, да? Ферзь в 6, и король же 8. Король же 8. А конь бьет h7, то что-то должно быть. А конь бьет h7. Сразу? А, нет. Нет, ладья же 7. Там. Да, ну вот е3 угрожает, страшная угроза. Слушай, что делать? Надо... Вот говорят, что ферзь и конь это волшебная комбинация. А где, так где? Вот как-то они, как-то они... Странно, почему не е3 сыграл я, что-то не очень понял. Ферзь же 4, король же 8. Нет, не проиграет. Ну, блестяще играет Карлсон, конечно. Да. Вот мы бы с тобой проиграли бы эту позицию уже Сразу раз в пять. Да. Что там там? Ну, попытка поставить вечный шаг. Как нервничает Морозеевич. Ну, как? Просто ужас Руки какой. Руки просто дрожат. Ну, король же 8 и что? Он же 8 И, к сожалению, на... Ферзь же 5 выигрывает сразу ладья же 7. Коня 6 мат угрожает. Угрожает коня 6 мат. Вот оно. Опа! Ферзь конь. Опа! Аж 5. Сдался. А Фантастика. Все, да? <смех> Гениально. Конь, есть шах. Угу. Гениально. Да, да, я друзья. же сказала, Саша, что выиграет, правда? Да, давай ска скажем честно. Мы, мы почти ничего не поняли в этой партии, но поняли отдельные моменты. Но даже этого мы нам поняли хватило... отдельные моменты. Да, поняли даже этого нам хватило моменты. для большого удовольствия. Но да, Морозевич вот проявил мы, хватку. Мы наконец-то отгадали. Да, отгадали. Да, да. Вот это блиц. -сват. Может быть, надо смотреть Морозевича до самого конца? <смех> То есть он сейчас поймал. Крамник Морозевич следующая партия. А, Крамник Морозевич обязательно будет смотреть. Идем на перерыв и ждем партии Крамник. Морозевич. Welcome back everybody to the Armageddon and final game of this tournament. Magnus Carlsen White, six minutes. Arkady Nigel Black, five minutes. If Magnus Carlsen wins, he wins the tournament. If he draws or loses, Arkady Nigel wins the tournament. With us, Fabiano Carana, Levan Aronian, Nigel Short. Guys, who's your pick? I think he'll win it. Who's he? Carlson. Okay. <laughs> it's a disadvantage choosing white. I mean, okay, he didn't choose it. I mean, he drew. Do you really I think it's a disadvantage? Yeah, I, I think, think it's an advantage. Back. No. Draw odds is worth a lot. But white is always better, you know this. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
Yeah, but he'll play this mm -hmm. pretty unpleasant H3, G4 stuff. It, the opening has been a G3 knight off. <clears throat> this is the position on the board. Looks vaguely familiar. Who's better and why? Levon, do you have insights? Yes, I've been yeah, playing this line. Knight of <laughs> <laughs> you like? No, actually, I have played knight off. Yeah. Before. Back in a day. The luscious mm -hmm. Natalia Pogonina says, f by the way, fantastic commentary. Bye. But actually, Fabiano, you've almost yeah. had this position recently, right? Flinging h3, h5 or something like this. Yeah, yeah, it's, well, no, that I took the bishop on against the pawn. It was without sure. the bishop. Wait, yeah. the pawn! The pawn! The pawn is hanging. Why did he give he the doing? pawn? What's he doing? He's blundered. Ah, oh, maybe rook c8, maybe he has a point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, maybe not. But maybe bishop not. e3? <laughs> yeah. Bishop what? e3? Oh, bishop c4? Queen e6? You have to grab the pawn whenever no, you no, can. No, no. And no. you can give, you know, there is a, there is a rule. No, but this, you can, uh, Tigran Vartanovic, he yes. always blundered his, yes. his rooks, didn't and he? And then he wrote books saying <laughs> that he actually sacrificed them. Just, After the blunders. Yeah, just queen d3 and queen to yeah. d1 and then... Yeah. What, what do you mean queen d3? Bishop c4, queen d1, queen d, you can queen always d3. do that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. He did take queen c7. But is knight... Uh... No, he's... Okay, Levant, there's like, there's Levant five, guess, is, so. is right. Queen d3, queen d1. T, T. Grand Vartanovic, Petrosian. The Armenians, they. They know, they know they things. They know something about chess. Hmm. Watch Magnus Carlsen blunder his rook. <laughs> he played yes, with two. he's blundered his rook. <laughs> <laughs> he's putting the queen on f3, taking with the bishop, and yeah. then. Putting the bishop Fantastic. on g5 and the other one on d3. Yeah. Or, big, or b3, bishop it's, it's, c4 is also. It's killing, mm -hmm. it's killing. No, but black has to play d5, yeah? Exactly, you play mm -hmm. d5, bishop b4, uh, rook d8, or something like this. Right? Yeah, you have d5 to play d5. has to be done. Yeah, yeah. He's done it, he's done it. He's not so weak, actually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bishop b4. Knight e4. Yeah, knight e4 looks good. Then takes bishop c5, f5. Oh, wait, but e4. What's oh. that? Oh, wow. Okay. Whoa, whoa. This is too much. Why? 94. 94. 94. 94 and bishop d3. 94, queen c2. He played queen bishop d3. Yeah. Wait, but wasn't 94 and 95 c4 very strong? Just winning the exchange back? Yeah. No, but 94 I would take on e4. No, but then you're lost. <laughs> <laughs> then you're lost. <laughs> but you're happily lost. <laughs> Contentedly lost. So g6. Yeah, the bishop of four. He's Queen up. c3. Oh. oh. What was the plan? <laughs> Maybe he wants queen of g6 is a good move. And then move the. He played rook d8. D8. So no. Very solid approach. So yeah, no, we don't like that. Bishop That's a good four. move. Bishop f4. Yeah, bishop f4 is strong. Bishop f4 is a good move. Queen c5, bishop b3, queen b4. I can play. Uh, should play queen c5, right? And queen b4. Ah, I cannot really play bishop b6. Ah. Queen c5. Yes, queen c5 with the idea of queen b4. I messed. G6, 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 go on, go G6. G6, G6 is... Oh, queen B4 was that, yeah. Queen B4, Queen B2, and D6. G6 was extremely strong. Of course it was. What could you I'm, do? I'm a good player, Queen you know. 9 G4 was there. Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys talking about, G6 here? No, but yes. Knight G4, I thought for a second I had Knight E4, but Queen yeah. C2. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Mm. Oh, wait, <laughs> can I play Knight E4? Yeah. No, oh, maybe you Knight takes the arrows on knives. Queen d4? Queen. Yeah. No. Queen d4? Wait, 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 no. Queen queen but let's come back to the game, guys. Let's no, go back to the game. No variations. We're in Armadillo. Levon is keeping the show moving forward. Bishop e5 has been played. No variations. Is Bishop e5 a variation? What is oh. this? Who? Takes on f6? What's this? Has it happened? It's just uh, suicide. It's yeah. suicide. It's, it's suicide. It's suicide. He blundered yeah. with bishop c5. But what is what the idea? idea? No idea. Just time to resign. Knight yeah, c4. Yeah, shaking his head. 
unresigned. Yeah, Bishop C5 was... What, 94? Yeah. No, no, it's time to resign. Bishop coming to D3. No. Bishop D3, well, checkmate. Knight of 6 is also... Knight of 6, queen G5, queen H6. Mm. Oh. No, 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 it's mate. No, we yes. wanted to see some, no, some no. armadillo, but it's mm. not there. Knight of 6, king G7, bishop D3 now. Why not queen G5, queen A6? Queen C2? Queen C2? Rook D3. Oh no, yeah. queen F2. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys no. are too tricky for me. Yeah, no armadillo. No, bishop D3, like knight or seven, looks very good. Or knight of 6 and bishop D3. Peter Svidler, Captain Hindsight, is saying, for what it's worth, Grishu, who knows a thing or two about Blitz, always picks white in Armageddon games. Okay. Looks like he would have been right this time around. No, time to resign. We should be free. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the guys got tired. Yeah. <clears throat> there have been some good games. Yeah. There have been some good games, but this one <laughs> was not. <laughs> was not. <laughs> How was the position before Bishop C5? Is Black for you? Looks bad for Black. Anyway. Bad anyway. But Probably Black has to play E3. E3. End of take. Okay, so let's maybe. get the position. Okay, okay so just Stay on the ball, well, rook f8. Okay, this is just over. Something. Are you this finished? Maybe like anything goes. And yeah, anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. Except queen h7 queen h7 is not very good. Played knight f6. Queen g5. Oh, chess culture. <laughs> there's no, there's no somewhere, right? Yeah. Oh. That looks like a very good move. Yeah. Yeah. The mm -hmm. difficulty is finding a move that doesn't win. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> C4. Fred is step. That wins. <laughs> Fred is step. Queen A7 as well. Mm. Oh, wow. Uh, um, Queen F4. Mm. This Ooh. looks very unpleasant. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ouch. King D7. Mm. Oh, Bishop B5. <laughs> Bishop B5. Bishop anything. The bishop no, bishop B5, I thought queen B5, maybe. No, no, even that. Bishop <laughs> B5. No, bishop C4. No. Queen F6, bishop C4. Yeah, yeah bishop B5, check. I don't know why you keep playing that. So. Mm. And resigns. Yeah. Yeah. That means Magnus Carlsen wins the third Grand Chess Classic and his 23rd Super Tournament. Congratulations, Magnus Carlsen. Thank you guys so much for joining in the middle of the night. Levon Aronia and Fabiano yeah. Carona. Yeah. Thank you so mm. much. Nigel Short, any famous last words? It was great entertainment. We loved it. We enjoyed it. Yeah. Do we think Magnus is coming? Probably no. not. <laughs> no, if he's got any sense, he will not come anywhere near this studio. There we see tournament director Sven Noppes addressing the public. A lot of people stuck around on a, what day is it? Monday? Yeah. Tuesday? On a Monday at midnight. Monday. On the right. Manic Monday. Wolfgang Granke, the sponsor of this tournament and the Baden-Baden team and the world champion Magnus Carlsen. <clears throat> we will wrap it up shortly. The guys have to attend what is probably the prize giving ceremony downstairs. Thank you so much for joining. Thanks everybody for listening. Macaulay Peterson for producing the show. Yeah. It's been a great pleasure. That was it for the third Green Kid Chess Classic. Let's, <clears throat> let's sit next to each other for the yeah. final shot. Okay. Happy family. And we did wear ties for seven days we in did, a row, we did. which is an impressive achievement as well. <clears throat> what you got? Zurich Saturday. The action, the Super Tournament action continues very shortly next Saturday. We got Zurich starting with Fabiano Carana, with Vichy Anand, with a lot of the players you've seen here. Those might be it. Yeah. <clears throat> Visit us on Chess24, I'll be doing commentary. Nigel is going to be there in Zurich. You yeah. won't be doing commentary. No, I'm afraid not, but I will be a guest. <clears throat> Maybe we'll uh, see so you on the, on the camera and uh, you can yeah, wave I'll, be, I'll, I'll wave to you all. So, uh, Beautiful. Yeah.
It's no, it's I really enjoyed this uh, event. It's been there have been some great games. And, Absolutely, uh, there's been real drama. So, thanks a lot. Take care, and uh, see you next time. Loses this game, he's still ahead on the standings. One point. Well, we have one full point. Yes. But at least we're going to have some action. Thing. Yes, and you know, if he loses a game, well, I'm, I don't really think that Carlson's self confidence will be upset. No. But he's not the kind of being like this. But still, it's interesting. So now he plays A takes B4. Yes. Queen takes A6. Queen takes A6. Six. Six and it's it's certain both both know what is going on yes. on the board. It is clear that uh, and you absolutely Aronian have to take with the B pawn. Huh? Aronian so knows that he is about. Let's look ahead. Just winning like, in this position. Yeah, takes an A six. Six, of course, on the move. Now. And now, which one to take? Well, you don't actually have to take. Yes, but it's human to take one. But F four is. He played C six. C six. After knight takes C eight and C six. This is. This is maybe not the, the best. Maybe not the most accurate, yeah. Maybe in this position he had more. Well, f4 cunning, is uh, far from easy. Yeah? f4 you don't even take a look at. But, but I mean, this would be quite natural to take and keep the, the knight for this square here. Yes. This would be very natural. And c7, and then rook in, the uh, other yes. comes in. You need to block c8 with, with yes. the knight at some point. So this would be maybe more... More up to the point, yeah. But on the other hand, it's very natural to keep yes. that bishop. Yes. <coughs> and as always, if you look at the engine, it, it tends to make you so arrogant. I mean, as mm. Lico mentioned, I mean, he's completely right. I mean, you yes. sit at home in your yes. room and you see all the right moves played mm. by the computer. I think this should still be winning, but not so easy. Well, he's a pawn for the exchange. Of course, there is this huge pass pawn on c6. On the other hand, it's not that easy to uh, break this wall here. Yes. Rook c5 looks, I yes. mean, to me, like the most natural, but already... Yeah, So, but look, look at c7 followed by bishop b7. I mean, so, sorry, c7, c7, knight c4 may be forced. Knight c4, to block. very logical. Now, if we just That's take why the I wanted one, to go to c5. I wanted to take on, on, just a on, on a6 to simplify. I give up my beautiful pass pawn, take here, and, and I. You're in a pin, no? Yes, pin I, is I pretend I'm just winning here. You're very, you made a very unpleasant pin on yes, the Yes, I just take on c4, I don't mind. Oh, bishop b5, well, it doesn't really. Yeah, it doesn't really change too much. And if you take with the rook, I mean, this is what we want. And king but f1 so should be technically winning. Rook b1, to rook c4, not easy, but mm. should be winning. And if we swap a f a2 against yeah, that's what I mean. Just it's winning, yeah. Uh, so easily. You mean five against four? And yeah. I, I mean, with this wall, yeah, it should be winning, but but then the there's yeah, f4. f4 is coming. Uh, at somehow right I cut your king off. Mm. I think it should be a technical win, not too easy. Huh? Yeah, but actually, that's now the main question for. After knight b6 for Aronian. Yeah. Because he knows he's close to winning or actually yes. clearly better. But what exactly to play oh, here? The computer finds a fantastic solution. Let's let's show just quickly. What is but it? C7. Mm -hmm. uh, knight, knight c4, c4. bishop h3. We've seen this move before here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if you take on c7, I just yeah, take on double. The pin is, is, is dead. dead uh, yeah. Rook c2, winning. Fantastic. Easy. Easy. So knight, uh, bishop h uh, basically takes, yes. but then takes and you keep that. Ah, uh, this is winning for sure. Yeah. So bishop e6. That's a beautiful solution. Rook c5. F6. And f4 maybe. F4, yeah. Still. Always or rook b1. Why not rook b1 here? Because oh, I don't know, a5. Uh, a5 and why not f4 and rook d1 and just take the d pawn? I mean, mm -hmm. takes. Yeah, if you take, it's no good. King comes. Takes, takes. Now rook b1. And he's played. He's played uh, rook a b1. Yes. A5. And a3. This is what 
It's the other possibility. It's not as convincing, actually. So what happens after B3? C7. Well, C7, but A4, isn't it? It's winning. Ah, and Bishop B7. Mm -hmm. Yes. But why? It's not winning the exchange, because there's rook E8. And if we he's played B3, C7, C7. That's, that's now the position. We've anticipated. What we can say is it's not so easy anymore. <coughs> well, actually, he's made. He's still. I mean, White is still better, but he's yes. made some concessions. Yes. And the question is whether he's he will prove able to um, win anyway. So one of one of the main points here is that Bishop C4 runs into bishop b7, rook takes b7, rook and rook right, takes b3, beauty. and you have pins <laughs> everywhere. Rook takes b7, rook takes c4. And, and that's easily winning, yes. I, would, I would say. Although yes. although he's giving up another pawn here. So this, again, will have to be, you know, technically he needs to be careful here. Right. It's not so easy, basically, if you play this, knight c4. I mean, I a, the a pawn is going to drop, yes. but whether it's so easy to win after that. Yeah. Have this position and Bishop C4. Of course, if he went, if he went for this pos for this line with A3, allo yes. allowing B3, he's seen it. Bishop yes. C4, Bishop B7. To me, A4 is just unclear. And just uh, giving up a second no, exchange. No, I move away. Ah, you move away. Yeah. Right. So rook E8. What can I do? But there's Rook C6, of course, that coming. Rook E8. e8 yeah. Yes. Rook C6. Play. Just the obvious moves. All right. Yeah. Now you can't go up, that would yeah, be good, just but you have there. to go down. It's not the end of the world yet. Yeah, rook c5 probably is, but it's not, not that easy. Mm, it's true. Yeah. If I w would go here... Rook, bishop f5, rook b2. Rook e7. Okay, I'm taking take, pawns, huh? Take, no, maybe, yeah. If you uh, want, if you want, uh, you can take a rook a7 and still decide. Oh, but we have bishop c4, so okay, now. Okay, the other line. Bishop b7, we just remind you that Nakamura won a blitz blitzkrieg against uh, Anand. <laughs> Very fast, uh, after 10 minutes the game was over. Uh, he actually... And Kawana gets gel from the position from afar looks all right for black. Very all right. But we are yeah. focusing now on this Aronian Carlson. And now it looks like bishop b7 is the best. That's it. Actually, there is also bishop h3, which you can consider. There is a, a the small point. difference. Yeah, there's a difference. Here that the knight is able to come to d5 um, and to c3. And yeah. then the it's a new game, huh? It's yeah. not so easy, yes. maybe. Because it's just a pawn for... I mean, you've, you're an exchanger, but yes. it's just it's still a pawn for black. and. A, very nice square coming, and e2 will be very weak. So here it might not be so clear. So bishop b7. I think it's a cl clever idea to reduce the minor pieces yeah. when you're the exchanger. Mm -hmm. So now this is the point. This looks and winning to me. Knight d5 cannot be played anymore. No, just That's the, the big difference with having this bishop here. On the other hand, it's about assessing this, this end game, which we just m okay. briefly mentioned. Now, let's see what's the most exacting move order well, here. Well, maybe you come back to a2 and s so that if he defends from here, basically you're going to get the a pawn easily. Now and rook a4. To a rook a4. But this should be a technical win. Not should easy, but... Yeah. I mean, Arion is... He's is gone to b7, right? He's gone to b7. Yes. So he's gone so to b7, and we have now this position, which... Should be still a technical win, So now he's, he's showing uh, accuracy yes. again. Maybe yes. he did not play the... F well, one, yes. two or three moves, but what can you say? Well, and bishop h3 was bishop out h3. of this world. Huh? It's a nice move, huh? Bishop h3 in another line, yeah? Th with the bishop yes. e6, that was nice. It's not so yeah. easy to see. With the pin. Yeah. Mm. Now it's nice. So probably it just has to take and take well, that ending. But the problem is you cannot trouble waters after that. I mean, well, the problem it's is too well, simple. The position is too simple. Yeah, black and doesn't really have any options here. Um, I mean, the, the the knight is hanging. Yes, and so you have to take on b7. And let's more. have a look at the clock. I mean, yeah, one minute here. Yeah. But it's it's not going to be the kind of positions which 
where you need too much time to defend for for Carlsen once once he takes here and then uh, sorry takes here and takes on c4 that's actually what's happening yeah. now so we're gonna have it he's gonna take on a3 he's gonna lose the a pawn soon certainly he's losing that end game that's my prediction because i mean it may look simple but where to put the knight exactly uh, no it's not simple it's not at all simple no but Carlsen is a magician when he How to play to with black? I mean, it may look a bit yeah. to defend with this knight. And yeah, the knight might have a maybe trouble he's, finding. Maybe he's cut off from the center. king g2. All right, king Why g2. Not? Yeah. The only thing is now maybe... He shouldn't well, postpone to win the pawn. Too yeah, long, he right? shouldn't wait too long. Yeah, indeed. Okay. Maybe... Well, well he wants to, wa to walk out with the king, of course. Yeah. But maybe a4 here, what's going on here? Why? I I wanted to go to c3, but I even then have a check. Even then I have a check. Yeah, you also have a check. It's true. Yeah. So g5 might be a move to try. Not sure about that. <laughs> we know. Yeah, but you need to find then. Basically, when you defend with a with a knight against a, a rook, so what did and you do? Pawns, you play knight c4 and g4. Yes, this. So is Aronian going to be able? Remember, in the in the Blitz, in the Blitz tournament on the opening day, after the opening ceremony, they played the Blitz tournament to determine um, who would play with which uh, starting number. And Aronian completely outclassed Carlsen in that Blitz. Well, we have to say that Carlsen played a very strange opening. Yes. Uh, nevertheless, he completely outclassed him. He had he won a pawn. He had two minutes against a few seconds, and Carlson kept his cool. This was unbelievable, and he managed to hold to the draw. draw. Yeah, incredible. So let's. I'm sure Aronian has not forgotten this uh, small, well, unpleasant. Yes. <laughs> but he has all the time now. He has a lot of time, but he, he, well, yeah, it's not like Blitz, of course, he has So it looks like Rook B6 is very precise. Well, I mean, yeah. he just wants to, to attack the E5 pawn first, huh? mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, yeah, the knight on D6 is not doing too badly, but it's not stabilized there. Yeah, so exactly. So Rook That's B6 the main problem yeah. for this, this in, to defend this endgame, you need a nice square for the knight. Somewhere where you e6. can say, I stand and you yes, don't remove me from there. The dream would be knight e6. e6. But knight e6, the problem is you cannot play this, this endgame without playing f6 at some point. Because the, the and then you're cut off. I mean, I'm going to attack this pawn and you yes. will have to play f6 at some point. So you don't really have that. I mean, this yeah. is the pawn structure which I have in mind, let's say. Yes. Let's say that black loses this pawn, a pawn, he doesn't have to lose it immediately, but let's say. And this, this is the structure which he has... Well, he cannot really avoid it. Yes. This so then where to put the knight? Yeah, that's, yes. the that's the main question. So he's played rook a7. Which is maybe not... And f6, actually, f6. they're playing the moves. Yeah, He could try to hang on to the pawn by knight c4. So he's going to take it? I guess he is. Still, what, what is the plan to win? Let's say after rook takes a5, he plays king f7. Okay. King f7, the, the I there is just come back, yeah. yeah. So he's going to e4. Ninety four, yeah. He, yeah. Yeah, he he maybe even F four is forcing events. Pretty strong F four. Yeah. And then come with the king. Because now yes. you can't defend here. No. So but how do we win if he just plays King F seven, King G six? Let's No? You mean? No, before. Instead of knight E four which But he's played knight E four. Okay. He's played knight okay. E four, yeah. Yeah, King F seven was a better Yeah. Okay. But let's he hasn't played he, he played H four. Played h4. Here. So it looks like f4 was the. f4 would have been. Yeah, but h4 first. wins just as well. I mean. In a way, it's yeah, it's technical. But f4 was very straightforward yes, and seemed yes. to be very strong. So. So of course we are not going to leave this game, but just Caruana, Gelfand, Caruana has given back the exchange in order to destroy Black's pawn structure.
uh, still it looks black is doing well, but yeah, this is just a glance from afar. It farm. looks yeah, almost lost. Like H5 it. now by Carlsen. What is this? What is this? Uh, well, it's a nice try, uh, but he's just going to take it. Yeah, he's going to take it, but on the other hand, he keeps, yeah, I don't know. F4, without F4, or well, not now, yeah. of course, but let's say here and then at some point F4. Without this move, it looks difficult to progress, yes. but he has certainly... So King H7, suppose. But this this nasty move, Rook A8, then you cannot progress. Um, yeah. Because. Uh, and what, what about the four in this position? Well, even the King just G3. Yeah, that. Knight G3. Yeah. King F3, Knight G3 is the. Rook D5, just quietly. So he took, he took it. it. He, he took, took it. it. King H7, automatic. I would say Rook A8 is a stop. It's a stopping. A I prefer move. four. Okay, never mind. Well, rook Both A8 is okay. nice, but what, what's no, I mean, it's, it's a human move. Just it's very human. And yeah. then I go f4, rook d8. Yeah, looks looks very good too, and indeed, uh, nothing to say. Yeah, but f4 is strong. But why didn't he play it before? I mean, mm. why mm. give back some material? He looks very confident. Well, he has a lot of time. He has um, material advantage and technically winning position. But some pawns are going to get off the board. Rook A8 is done. Your yes. move. <laughs> play your move. Yeah, it's just lost. Somehow this king is trapped now. And look at the clock ticking. Yeah, 30 ticking seconds. Away. And it's not easy to keep control for yes. black in this position. Because you need to be aware of all possible white Resources. So, uh, so he's going back to d6. Now it's really completely lost. You can play king f4, king g4, king f3, sorry, king g4. Mm. <coughs> you can play rook d8 just to show that the knight has no secure. He's gonna go to f5 probably, but yes. then it's king h3. King h3. Oh, what's your next move? Yeah. So we remind you, king h8, h6 yeah, is always a little problem here. So we have some moves. We have some moves. He went king uh, f3. He yeah. Went. yeah. All right. It's a yeah. matter of. Okay, so king matter g4. King g4. Knight jumps back or gives. How about the check on h6? Well, you'll hide on h3 yeah. anyway. King h3, and now this rook d8 is kind of paralyzing. Rook mm. strong. Mm. Yeah, rook d8 is very nasty. Yeah. Yes. Basically, if knight h6 back, then f4 probably f4 is just coming. Yeah, just and the problem is you can't even hang on to this pawn f4 now. It's yeah. What about f3? Is this so... Well, it's not a fortress, of course. So they, they have played these moves. Yeah. Actually, the king is back to h3. Carlsen got some more time. OK, he's got one minute. I mean, the prob main Carlsen's main problem is not the clock here. Yes, definitely. it's the position. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we expect rook d8. Rook d8 is easy, yeah. Yeah, this is good technique. And he does yeah. it. Good technique. So. So the advantage has reached a level where there is no doubt, usually. Yeah. Indeed, yeah. Although, well, if we look at the evaluation of the engine, it's always in these endings I know, I know. a bit misleading because of course. it has sometimes problem. In this case, it might be true because it looks really that white is winning. But in general, we have to be careful with the engine. Yeah, if, if it's yeah. one point something, it can still change. Yeah. But as it, as they know in uh, correspondence chess, if it's over two, normally you don't recover. Eh? Yeah, but sometimes in some some fortress positions, the crucial factor is not so much the evaluation in itself, even though, as you say, if it's yeah. too high, it's too high. But it's it's whether you see one line with uh, like. One line is different, like you have in one line plus three and the rest is plus one. That means you can make progress. Yes. But if all lines are plus 250, it and means maybe first, second, yeah. third, all yes. lines are plus
plus 250, that means the computer doesn't know how to make progress. Okay. And so this is sometimes misleading. So they should have exactly the ending we expected. Yeah. yeah. And it looks... Actually, he could have played yeah. F3, but he decided to leave this yeah, pawn so E. It's not just a matter of technique and mm. not, not running into a fork. Yeah, that's the, <laughs> the last hope for... Okay, rook D5. Knight C4, so don't play King G4, even though... No, it's not, it would not be good in the end. How about E4? I mean, it's just... E4 is fair enough. Rook D7 is... Yeah, or... Huh? Well, yeah, Rook D7 is nice too, actually. And then, yeah. King G3, G3. quietly. Yeah. No, knight E5 is kind well, it's of, kind lost, of win. Yeah. Yeah, but knight um, E5 is probably just rook takes, no? isn't it? Something like this yes. is, is should be over. Yeah, absolutely. But, yeah. Okay, he hasn't done it. He has played another move. Knight E3, now. Rook C5, and... We know how wow. it goes to the maximum distance. Yes. This is the always very important thing to remember, especially for those of you who might be starting out in chess. The knight has problems reaching this kind of squares. He needs so many moves. This is, as you call it, maximum distance. So, wow. So, and it, it's likely that the, the, the knight will be caught Actually, it is so almost called king f4, knight d2, and now you can see these squares are all controlled <laughs> by yes. by white pieces. So what you can do is go back or go here. And it's all yes. pretty sad. The main question is actually how to progress. Yes. But An idea is maybe to play king here with the idea to play rook here. Yes. But he plays quietly. He plays very easy. So in this position he played e3, knight b3, rook c3. My goodness. And now if you move here, you're getting completely out of, you know, where you should be here on e5 or something. He has no choice, basically. Threatening our yeah rook now you can't um, take here it's it's uh, it's the knight hanging here ah yes yes so, but he went back to h7 and resigns king f5 resigns the well the threat he did it he did it my god so a Ronian beautiful game actually yes. from the opening and it's finally a finally he's mortal. <laughs> That's yeah. well deserved, huh? Yeah, Ronian has been intriguing opening though, huh? between Magnus Carlsen and Baskaran Adiban. When we left it, I was really basically complaining. I was basically saying Magnus has some very, very difficult technical uh, tasks ahead of him with this move Queen g5 to d2 we can see how awkward uh he's had to play um bishop b6 knight e2 protecting the pawn on d4 uh, to the second and attacking the rook on b4 rook came <laughs> rook came to c4 and queen d3 e6 e5 now uh, by Adiban, as he's hoping to be able to unleash this bishop on b6 in conjunction with ideas like knight g4 and really, really on a good day, also getting queen h3. Magnus played bishop to g5, essentially returning the pawn, and we have a move. Knight g4, okay. Knight g4, that's a bit of a surprise. Of course, there was nothing wrong with the move bishop takes d4, I can just for argument's sake, we can, we can have the pawn either on b2 or b3, but I'm thinking that Magnus's intention was something like knight takes d4, bishop takes d4, moving as queen out of the way. And it's four versus four. Um, 
This looks far more balanced and likely draw than anything for either player. But Adi, uh, Adiban loves having the initiative. We see that time and time again in the young Indian uh, players' uh, practice. He loves to attack the opponent's king. And with the move knight g4, of course, he's saying, look, you may have an extra pawn, Mr. World Champion, but I'm the one who has uh, attacking ideas. The move, the bishop on g5 is no great shakes either. It's now hitting on empty air. And we can imagine that if black plays a move for argument's sake, like f7, f6, the bishop isn't finding a very good square on the c1 diagonal. So I, I like this move, knight g4. It's an extraordinarily enterprising move uh, by Baskaran. He's not backing down one iota here in his first test against the world champion, as he, was, as he explained in some, show, some interviews on the show here. It, he really imagined while watching the match between Vishy and Magnus in his home city of Chennai, that one day he would have a chance of playing uh, Magnus, and today is his day in the sun. Wonderful stuff, and he's really acquitting himself marvelously well. Let's go to the game of the Chinese player. We, he's, he was playing against Sergei Karyakin, and the Chinese player has won an exchange into nurse an extra pawn, knight g4. Uh, there was absolutely nothing wrong with bishop takes d4 either. I think that that uh, uh, restoring the material equality would have also been sufficient for e equal. But uh, Baskaran preferred the move knight g4 after rook c1. A pair of rooks were traded, and the rook came to e8. Wow. Rook to e8. Well, there's a beautiful uh, tactic in the position that I've been, uh, I've been bo both... Uh, victimized by as well as uh, the other side and that goes rook d1 takes knight takes and you always have to be uh, careful of these situations where your your queen is protected by a rook which is vulnerable to a check on the first or last rank and here uh, there's a winning tactic in the position just to be aware of rook e1 check if you take the rook you lose your queen if you move your king you lose your rook and i think everyone who plays chess has been a one-time victim of such a tactic but rook e8 is the current position and magnus carlson finding it very difficult to um outduel this young man from India who qualified from last year's challenger section. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just having a hard time thinking of what Magnus might play. Um, it's nice to think that on a good day you would play a move like, oh, for, pardon me, I have to Yes, no, I can do that. Queen, no. Yeah, I was, sorry. I wanted to say, it's nice to think on it, you know, you could play a move like queen to d3 uh, and queen here, but, well, <laughs> this looks like a very strange way of white trying to make a draw after a queen takes rook takes, rook takes. With f2 hanging, this is just not what the world champion wanted to do. And he did play the move rook d1, by the way. And now, I suggested the move e5 takes d4. I very strongly suspect, however, that Baskaran is looking not to play that move. Rather, when he put his rook on e8, 
And I have a sneaking suspicion that he has something like E4 and E3 in mind. Mind you, again, I, there's nothing wrong with E takes D4, but I have a, mm, some ideas that uh, Pascarin is looking for something a little bit more uh, punchy than simply E5 takes D4. And that's a good move, E5 takes D4. I'm sure he's quite well off after that move. All right, let me go back to the game of Levon Aronian. He had played an intriguing idea. When we left it, <clears throat> it was somewhere around these parts, rookie two, rookie eight. And one of the funny things is what I wanted to do was to force white to cap to restore the material equality. He played the move e5 takes d4 when I was guessing that he was thinking about uh, ideas of e4 and e3. He took the pawn, bishop f4, I noted the, the famous back rank check tactic, so you cannot capture on d4. Bishop f4 was uh, Magnus's choice, knight to f6, knight to c1. Since this pawn is essentially untouchable, Magnus is trying to remaneuver his knight to the, the d3 square, where it would be the ideal blockader. Um, knight d5, bishop d2, queen c6, knight e2. Queen f6. Oh. Queen c6. Queen bishop d2. Queen c6. Okay, I, I'm having a, uh, a strange time with uh, guessing Vascaran's move because uh, earlier in the game, it was like he was always intimating that he wanted to bring his queen to the queen side. There was ideas of queen d6 to h2. There was ideas of queen d7 to h3. It's very strange that he didn't consider the move. Probably he did. He rejected it, and I'm not sure why. Queen g4 definitely gets uh, everybody's attention. Uh, the reason I really like this move, queen g4, is because we notice that the queen on g3 and the pawn on f2 protect. Um, and so, for example, after a move like rook e1, you always have to consider moves like rook e3. Be being prepared to sacrifice a rook. I don't think black is taking any risks. Of, he's got perpetual check in the pocket. Um, and this might even be 93. I am confused because truly queen g4 looks compelling. This, uh, did, 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 uh, and again, uh, so much earlier in the game, he was always looking uh, to activate his queen. Once again, through the h2 square and the h3 square, this looks really nice for black. Um, he chose queen c6, knight e2, queen f6, and the players are struggling their way to equality. Let me go back to the game of Luke Van Valley, because of course that's exciting, but I think it was a pretty right. Things moved in a, you know, it was really funny. Uh, Adiban sacrificed a pawn from the opening. He was yeah. carrying an initiative. He's making it very, very awkward for Magnus. All the time, Black was looking to uh, bring his queen for the, from, from evening, even from the opening. There was a time to bring the queen to h2. He put his queen mm -hmm. on the battery. It was f5. There was a trade. King f1, d3, knight c3. Knight takes c3, rook takes c3, what is this? Rook b3 and g6. And, well, what to say? This looks like a very mm, draw is, is in the offing. This pawn on d3, you can't really allow it to remain on the board. 
Normally I would say this is drawish, but okay, we know it's white and black. <laughs> yeah. I tell you, Alibaba is very strong this tournament. Mm -hmm. so, but okay, well, if looks. Magnus does not win this game, it means that he will be a full point behind with two rounds ago. Very doubtful that he'll be able to defend his yeah. crown. Yeah. Yeah. So ah, he was maybe. And we do have a draw in the Masters group between our world champion Magnus mm -hmm. Carlsen and Abidon. Yeah. Let, uh, let me just quickly get through this game. Uh, E4 was to prevent. So we will, well, Peter, we will welcome Levon back. Absolutely. We, we turn to the game of Mag Magnus Carlsen and Yi Wei. Hold on. Holy cow. Oh, geez. Uh, the position just blew, blowed up in the game between Magnus and uh, how did this happen? My goodness, my goodness. We left it about these parts. I was mentioning that should he choose F7, F6, <clears throat> As a preparatory move to d6, d5, uh, made a lot of sense uh, to me. Yi Wei just went for it. He just played d5 right away. Magnus did play e5, knight d7, f4. I was explaining that this majority on the king side, white's king side majority versus white's black's queen side majority. Uh, Magnus would still have to prove himself because this knight could end up on this e4 square. Let's see how it happened. Bishop takes e2, rook takes e2, knight c5. Quite all right. Rook e3. Okay, the mysterious rook move. Um, we'll see what was the idea behind that. I'm not too sure. Rook d8, everybody understands. King f3, everybody understands. Knight e4 and b4. Again, those last moves were all very understandable. White is uh, preventing the move c6, c5. He's basically stating he's very satisfied with his knight on d4. He wants to keep it there. g5, breaking up the team on f4 and e5. Black is simply ready to capture on f4, followed by a move like f7, f6. And after g5, c4, whoa, c4, okay, c4. I'm tr <laughs> sorry, folks, I'm just taking my time trying to get the zen of the position for a moment. Uh, c5 was played. I'm assuming that after takes on g5, G5 takes F4, King takes F4, the King looks a little bit strange on the square F4, but F6 can be nicely met by E6, keeping everything under control, I think. So, uh, Yi Wei played the move C5, and Magnus Carlsen is definitely thrown back by that move, as am I. Oh my, so, well, let's boldly state the obvious. Pawn takes on d5, pawn takes on d4, rook takes, rook takes should not cause the Chinese player any particular difficulties. So the next question we ask ourselves is what about takes on c5, then the knight takes on c5, and now something like f4, f5, black's g5 move really has not broken up white's structure. And this looks a little scary. Just let me play some moves for a second. Takes, takes, knight d7. There is uh, a funky fork in the position. e6, knight b6, rook. This is the fork which obviously doesn't work because I have takes on F7 and with a check, everything comes with a check. Wow. 
<laughs> with so much tension in the game, this is a good time. When people ask me, when should I use my time? Well, the correct answer is when you feel it's a critical moment. And this definitely uh, fits that billing as being a critical moment in the game. Magnus Carlsen to play in a super sharp position. And he has played yet another move, knight b5. I like this move very much, by the way. I like this move a lot. And the world champion has found this move as, first of all, this knight on e4 is relying solely upon this d5 pawn as its support. So the move knight b5, eyeballing the square c7, so that you can play knight takes d5 and this knight on e4, e4 hanging in midair. Has the Chinese player underestimated this uh, solution for white? Good grief, I'm not even sure what black should be playing. I'm really uh, coming a cropper here in terms of how are you going to meet this move? not intuitively obvious at all. If you take on b4, grabbing a pawn, well this just looks terrible. After both takes on d5, again just asking this knight what it's doing, as well as knight c7, followed by taking this pawn on d5, this looks terrible. So just a second, this is not what I need a suggestion. And by the way, we do have tweets and comments. Any questions you may have, please do feel free. Uh, five. Uh, obviously is going to be met by king takes, this recapture. Uh, in those positions when the knight was on d4, the move f6 could be greeted by e5, e6. Maybe this is the way black has to go. Um, play with the move f6, but what am I thinking about? This is, again, this move c takes d5, and this knight on e4 is in a tragic, tragic uh, square. Wow. Um, Knight b5, and the Chinese player, and the times, just looking at the, the, the clock situation, huge difference in times. 24 minutes for the world champion versus under two minutes for the Chinese player. And he's facing threats that I don't have a cure for at the moment. So it's both position and clock and big stress uh, for Yi Wei against Magnus Carlsen. Looks like he's in big trouble. I don't, I don't know what uh, the Chinese player is going to do. It may have just been that c6, c5 was simply a bad move. And again, uh, we'll stay with this game for a moment because he's counting down a minute on the clock. And Magnus Carlsen in second place, but behind Pavel as we started round four is looking to, uh, to catch up with Pavel if he can down the Chinese player. Magnus up from the board <clears throat> looking around the uh, tournament venue he's probably just went to grab himself a drink and noticed that his water bottle was empty. That's a lot. Those look like liter jars uh, liter bottles of uh, the aqua. Yeah. And he's, I think it's Isklar is a sponsor of Magnus. And so we do have the G takes F4. I mean, that was the only mm, logical. Uh, follow-up to if you're going to play the move g5 
to break up the team, then g takes f4, king takes f4, uh, and now we have another move on the board. c5 takes b4, and very quickly answered, C c5 takes b4, very quickly answered with c4, takes d5, and there we have it, the resignation. Uh, Magnus Carlsen uh, taking what I thought was a very balanced position. Wait, the Chinese player made what I get, I'm guessing was a huge error uh, with this move c6, c5. Uh, completely mistimed and knight b5, and that was all she wrote. I might argue right here that, in fact, uh, the difficulties began for Yi Wei when he played the move d6, d5, and allowed this majority uh, to be played e4, e5. Probably f7, f6 was a more solid choice, uh, simply preparing the move uh, c6, uh, d6, d5. But a very well, uh, Magnus cruised as he punished his opponent for the break c5. After knight b5, there was simply no good way of meeting the dual threats of knight c7 as c4 takes d5. Hopefully, hopefully, Magnus will be joining us. We never know. First of all, he's got to do his interviews. He meets uh, in the DeMorean. There's a beautiful area, the press room, where a lot of journalists come from all over the world here in Vaikanze to do their columns and to uh, enjoy the mm, commentaries of the players. The players often analyze their games. They have post-mortems in, uh, in the press uh, room. And sometimes after they've, they've finished those tasks of post-mortems and answering the journalist questions, they forget that we have an online show. Well, in any case, Magnus Carlsen has now pulled himself up to plus two. Let us go to the game of Pavel. Uh, gone out uh, because of his victory. Nonetheless, we're, we're closely following the game of Magnus Carlsen and Sergei, a continuation of their world championship uh, match. We'll pick up the action, the players are playing quickly, we'll pick up the action around these parts when we had just left it. We had seen this repetition and then the move d3, d4 by Magnus, showing that he wants to continue uh, the game, not to agree to a draw by repetition. Queen g6 uh, was Sergei's choice, returning an exchange in order to trade queens. They reached this position, and this is where we had a pause, and nothing's wrong. Don't get me wrong. Uh, nothing's wrong with capturing this pawn on d4, but I'm looking at this knight on h7, and I'm thinking to myself, why not play knight f8, knight g6, going after this bishop? That really looked attractive to me. Uh, capturing the pawn immediately uh, could, uh, could lead to back rank issues, checks, with rook e8, and therefore the move knight f8 uh, would have been my choice. He took on d4, take on d4, bishop takes d4, and let me get an update of the game. Rook e8 check was played. Rook e8 check, rook e7, rook g7, rook e4 by Magnus. Very intriguing. Normally speaking, uh, the player with the two, when you're playing against the minor pieces, it's usually a good idea to get rid of the uh, rook of the side who has the minor pieces. So this is uh, maybe one of those situations where the normal rules should be violated and you, you want to keep the rooks. Um, 
I'm not sure. Rook e4, and well, I don't know. Uh, bishop will come back to c5, I would anticipate. Um, on a good day, black simply wants to play his king from g, where it's in the corner, uh, to the g8 square, and maybe this pawn on d5. I would think the position is balanced. I'm going to say more or less equalish, but uh, I've always favored the minor pieces um, myself, uh, two minor pieces, especially uh, if they are bishops against a rook. The two knights against the rook, well, it's about pawn structure and king position and all the rest. So an evenish position in this game. Let me go to the game of Levon Aronian because he was in contention for first. He's playing against Dimitri uh, Draken, who hasn't won a game in, in the tournament, but Dimitri is doing great. He, uh, uh, it's a rook versus Ness Carlson and Sergei Karyakin. We left it just after the move rook uh, e4 was played. Knight to e5. Looks groovy. Knight to e5. Uh, you cannot take the bishop as rook takes obviously would walk into a knight fork. Knight f3 check and we snare the rook. So knight e5, king g2, threatening the bishop. Bishop drop back to b6. And let me see if I'm up to date with the play. F2, F4. Interesting. Knight G6. And the knight obviously ready to capture this bishop. And after F4, I think we've had some more moves. No, I'm, I'm sorry. Knight G6, King H3. Yes, indeed. King H3 stepping out of the threat of knight takes h4. So from Black's point of view, he's got some problems. His pieces, specifically, this rook on g7, the knight on h7, and the king on h8 uh, all need better uh, roles to play. And let me see. I think I would start with something like Rook f7, perhaps rook d7, with the very simple idea of bringing my king to g7 and maybe on a good day going after this pawn on d5. From white's point of view, white needs to uh, be careful. He better start uh, utilizing his kingside majority with ideas like g4 and bishop g3, and he better do it very quickly because um, there are some weak pawns in the center, d5 and on the queen side. Black also, black could also consider a very nasty little move of g5, uh, anticipating an opportunity of playing knight h4 and knight f6. And definitely all three results are possible here. I'm not sure who I would prefer to play. And I, it looks to me like a move has been played. King g8 by Sergei Karyakin. Definitely a very reasonable move, no question about it. Uh, he just needs to untangle his pieces on the king side. King on f7 will serve uh, a lot of good purposes for black. So king g8, Magnus to play. And again, if I were in Magnus's shoes, I would be very anxious indeed to play moves like g3, g4, and to get these pawns on the king side to put them to work. And we have uh, another winner. <laughs> what can I say? Adi Bon. Yeah. I'm delighted to see you again, <laughs> my that. friend. My goodness. Sorry. It's going well. What a bad day for the Trump, huh? <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> That's Two. true. And, uh, well, uh, 
it's been a very eventful uh, tournament for you. You started poorly, yeah. but then you really came back. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, you lost after the rest day, actually. Right. So it's that when we left it around these parts, I was making the case that Magnus had better put his pawns in motion, specifically his kingside pawns on g3 and h2. Those are his trumps. And I was suggesting that he's going to have to play g4 and bishop g3 and get those pawns moving <clears throat> quickly and certainly well before black manages to play a move like f5 and get his knight to f6 and take this pawn on d5. Strange things happen. King g8 I get, but then Magnus kind of wasted a few tempi. In fact, this move rook e1 to e4, all of these moves make a very strange impression to me because he's basically forcing Sergei to make moves that are in his favor. Sergei has just played the move rook h8, clearly indicating that he's preparing to capture on f6 and force the ungainly looking recapture g3 takes h4, which would completely neutralize um, this majority of pawns. And, well, for Magnus Carlsen fans, I just have to say that I'm beginning to favor Sergei's position. Magnus played a4, and then king g7 was played. Okay, uh, we can see that Sergei would actually like to play the move knight g7, but he's trying to avoid the move rook f6 check, followed by rook takes f5. So king g7 has a sense. Um, I don't know, but uh, for my taste, I think I would have been very happy to force the doubling of these pawns with knight takes uh, h4 and knight here. Oh, I noticed that, and he thought that Sergei uh, uh, should have delayed g5. Like he could have played a6 and bishop a7 or bishop e6, but the peace sacrifice was bold. Uh, no, it was it was quite so. Of course, quite yes. strong move. Knight takes on g5, but I don't believe. I mean, if uh, the black really should go to that position, I mean, exactly. Sometimes with Sergei, especially in this tournament, happens that he's, uh, I wouldn't say blundering, but at least he's. Uh, thinking that this is already the different position and playing the moves from the previous positions. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. All right, so we're going to leave this game for a second. Levon Aronian is playing against Dimitri. Uh, the whoa. Exchange Completely sacrifice whoa. by yeah. Magnus. Rook takes g6. Magnus did not want to wait and see knight takes h4. Check, check. And we are up to date with the players, and he's trying to make I don't know, perpetual the check, yeah, perpetual trust because I mean the position itself was not so promising, yeah, anymore. Exactly, it's not the same position after knight takes on g5. It's totally different. Exactly. So world champion sacrifice in exchange. How? After he, king he wants to play rook d7. Exactly, rook d7. But I now I have. This finally, this opportunity to um, uh, develop my knight, thank goodness. So on a check, knight I knight. will block. And what's the body count? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. And rook d7 again. Rook d7 again. But okay, I mean, I have no any idea why. Why he would go for something why, yes. like this. So what has Magnus done here? Is it possible that Magnus intends to play king? Maybe it's just a positional, because rook on h8, knight on h7 make a horrible then, impression, no? Yeah, why not to try then to play uh, not king f8, but king g8? Good point. King g8. Well, we much, uh, new main line. A much better uh, move, to be sure. Now I want simply to play knight f8 and rook h7 at least. To have some exactly, exactly, exactly. Otherwise I'm threatening to <laughs> threatening knight f6 and on to take on d5. 
Exactly. So, uh, and for check, I have knight f8 now. Indeed, uh, check knight f8, and you're very happy suddenly with such moves. Again, I I was complaining. Magnus didn't hear me. I should talk louder. I was complaining that white trumps are three to one majority. He yes. needs to play g4 and h4, and but he never. He was moving his rooks back and forth. He never tried to activate the majority. Here, I would rather play black position. And Indeed, he could play much better. But earlier the humans being at the <laughs> <table>. <laughs> humans at the table, yes, exactly. So there we have this uh, game. I want to just take one. Have you been watching also very interesting tournament, the Challengers? Mm -hmm. This is crazy event. I mean, people are are that there's so much blood. <laughs> I'm afraid. The, for even the in, health even of the in players. Last round, I mean, yes. I didn't expect that Elias Mirin. Between Magnus Carlsen and Sergei Karyakin, we've seen a repetition uh, of the position. After the move, knight f8 uh, was played. Bishop g5, at long last, we can see that Magnus is finally ready to put his uh, kingside pawns in motion. Black has, uh, almost since the start of the game, had a difficulty untangling his pieces. Plays rook h7. He's just on the cusp of untangling. Uh, he played the move, did Sergei, king f7. The highly desirable move, rook d7, uh, in order on the next turn to play king, f7 and knight g6 and continuing to untangle is unfortunately for Sergei met by bishop e7 uh, king f7 rook takes and uh, white gather, um, captures yet another pawn this f5 pawn and then suddenly it's three connected pass pawns Sergei didn't want anything to do with that so he played the move king uh, f7, rook went to d8, king dropped back to g8, and again, black is anxious for the opportunity to play rook d7 and king f7, and we've seen the move rook e8 by Magnus, and it appears that uh, this game is destined for a draw uh, should Sergei play king f7. Not the only move, mind you. Sergei can also consider the move rook f7 h3 king up and in this way trying to untangle uh, his pieces with knight coming to f6 i don't think that black has any reasons to fear uh, such a variation and if anybody would be playing if you ask my opinion i think it would be black however i do think a draw would be more likely. Okay, let's go to the Chinese. King f8 was his choice. And we do have a draw agreed between Magnus Carlsen and Sergei Karyakin. A bit of a disappointment for the two-time defending champion Magnus. Uh, he never really got his groove. Certainly uh, his critical round I think had to be against Anish Giri when he had a checkmate on the board that he did not execute. That game ended up in a very very long draw and the next day Magnus came and lost uh, to uh, Richard Rapport. So that was really when things went wrong for Magnus and he never really got it going. Today very enterprising peace sacrifice. I liked it a lot. You will, you're encouraged to look at our interview where with uh, the twelfth world champion Anatoly Karpov. Karpov looked like Magnus's position and was critical of the world champion's decision to play the move knight c4. So, a draw agreed in that game. He's fighting with his chair. <laughs> <laughs> 
that you see on the webcam fighting with this chair, I'm told. Okay, so we have two games in progress. On 